Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will have a look on types of fractions. So let's get started. Before going to the topic, let us do a small exercise. Here we have fractions and for these fractions, we have to write the numerator and denominator. 8, 5 by 8, what is the numerator? 5, right? And what is the denominator? 8. In 7 by 10, what is the numerator? 7. And what is the denominator? 10. Okay, now let us move to the types of fractions. Unit fractions. Okay, fractions having 1 as numerator are called unit fractions. Okay, here we have some examples. 1 by 5, 1 by 8, 1 by 7 and 1 by 11. In 1 by 5, what is the numerator? 1. In 1 by 8, what is the numerator? 1. In 1 by 7, what is the numerator? 1. In 1 by 11, what is the numerator? 1. See, these all fractions have 1 as the numerator. So, these type of fractions are called unit fractions. Okay, let us go to like fractions. Fractions having same denominator are called like fractions. Here we have some examples. 1 by 8, 3 by 8, 5 by 8 and 9 by 8. Observe the denominators. See, here all fractions have 8 as denominator. So, these type of fractions are known as like fractions. Okay, let us go to unlike fractions. Fractions having different denominators are called unlike fractions. Here we have some examples. 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 2 by 5 and 6 by 7. Observe the denominators. Here, these fractions have different different denominators. So, these type of fractions are known as unlike fractions. Okay. Now, proper fractions. Fractions whose numerator is less than denominator are called proper fractions. Here, we have some example. In 5 by 9, the numerator 5 is less than denominator 9. So, 5 by 9 is a proper fraction. In 2 by 11, numerator 2 is less than denominator 11. So, 2 by 11 is a proper fraction. 7 by 13. In 7 by 13, the numerator 7 is less than 13. Denominator 13. So, 7 by 13 is a proper fraction. Okay, let us go to improper fractions. Fractions whose numerator is greater than or equal to denominator are called improper fractions. See, here we have some examples. 7 by 5. In 7 by 5, the numerator 7 is greater than denominator 5. So, 7 by 5 is an improper fraction. 11 by 6. The numerator 11 is greater than denominator 6. So, 11 by 6 is an improper fraction. 9 by 4. In 9 by 4, the numerator 9 is greater than denominator 4. So, 9 by 4 is an improper fraction. 8 by 8. In 8 by 8, the numerator 8 is equal to the denominator 8. So, 8 by 8 is an improper fraction. Okay. Now, mixed fractions. Fractions having the combination of whole number and a proper fraction are called mixed fractions. Here, we have some examples. 5, 1 by 2. 5 is the whole number and 1 by 2 is the proper fraction. Okay, the combination of whole number and a proper fraction is called mixed fractions. Okay, and 3, 1 by 7. 3 is the whole number and 1 by 7 is the proper fraction. The combination of whole number and the proper fraction is called a mixed fraction. 9, 1 by 5. 9 is the whole number and 1 by 5 is the proper fraction. So, 9, 1 by 5 is the mixed fraction. Okay. Now, equivalent fractions. Two fractions are said to be equivalent if they have same value. Here we have a note. Equivalent fractions can be found either by multiplying numerator and denominator with the same number or dividing numerator and denominator by the same number. Here we have examples. Here we have a fraction 1 by 5. I am multiplying the numerator and denominator with the number 2. And here we got the result 2 by 10. Okay. Now I am taking the same fraction 1 by 5. And I am multiplying the numerator and denominator with the number 4. Here I got the result 4 by 20. So now 1 by 5, 2 by 10 
and 4 by 20 are said to be equivalent fractions. Why? Because they have the same value. Okay. Now, let us take another example. Here we have the fraction 24 by 18. I am dividing the numerator and denominator with the number 2. And I got the answer 12 by 9. Okay. Here I am taking the 24 by 18 again. I am dividing the numerator and denominator with the number 3. And I got the answer 8 by 6. Now 24 by 18, 12 by 9 and 8 by 6 are said to be equivalent fractions. Why? Because these three fractions have the same value. Okay. Let us go to decimal fractions. Fractions which have the denominators such as 10, 100, 1000 etc. are called decimal fractions. Here we have some examples. 2 by 100, 5 by 1000, 1 by 10. Observe the denominators. 10, 100, 1000 like that they have. So these type of fractions are known as decimal fractions. Okay. I hope this video is very helpful to you. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.